Hello everyone, this is Jeevan and welcome to my YouTube channel Keep Smiling, Keep Helping. Friends, today in this video, I'm going to discuss with you uh, about the different types of aircraft maintenance engineer licenses. Also, uh, what are the certification privileges given to an engineer through these licenses? What is the uh, um, experience required uh, for obtaining the licenses? And also, what are the modules that need to be cleared? For obtaining different types of licenses uh, but before starting the video I would like to request you to kindly subscribe my channel if if you haven't subscribed it yet so let's start the video so the main categories of an aircraft maintenance engineering license are category A B1 B2 B3 and C further category A and B1 are further divided into four subcategories uh, A1 and B1.1 which signifies aeroplane turbine that means if an engineer hold an A1 and B1.1 license then he will be able to certify an aeroplane fitted with turbine engine that is the meaning A1 and B1.1 denote aeroplane turbine second is A2 and B1.2 uh, a person holding a license an engineer holding a license of uh, category A2 and B1.2 will be able to certify an aeroplane fitted with piston engine. Next is uh, next subcategory is A3 and B1.3. That is helicopters fitted with turbine engine. And the next is A4 and B1.4. That is a helicopter fitted with piston engine. Now. What are the certification privileges given to an engineer through these different types of licenses? A cat category A license holder will be able to issue certificate of release to service after minor schedule line maintenance and simple defect rectification within the limit of task specifically endorsed in his authorization certificate issued by the maintenance organization. Now what does it mean? If a person is holding a CATE license, he will be able to do simple uh, line maintenance tasks like transit inspections, he will be able to do. These are simple line maintenance tasks and simple defect rectification. Now simple defect rectification will denote like doing some simple test uh, and clearing a snag. Uh, changing some uh, uh, small cabin items these all are uh, all will come under simple defect rectification uh, yeah, which will not require any troubleshooting or um, which will not require use of any specific tools so that type of faults or that type of problems uh, can be solved and can be certified by a cat license holder and also uh, this cattle license will be given by DGCA to the person and based on that cattle license, on that license, the maintenance organization will issue an authorization certificate to the candidate. So, uh, until and unless the person holds that authorization certificate, he would not be able to sign or certify an aircraft. And also, what are the items, what are the things that he can certify will be mentioned in his authorization certificate. So here are two things. One is the license which will be issued by Government of India, DGCA Director General Civil Aviation. And other one will be on the basis of that license given. The other one will be the authorization certificate. An authorization certificate will be given by the company in, in which you will be working. So that uh, in that authorization certificate, what is the task uh, that you would be able to sign and certify that would be already mentioned in that uh, certificate. So as a uh, CATE license holder, uh, we have to um, be limited within that scope of work which will be given in that um, authorization certificate. Now let's come to the next uh, license category that is CAT B1. So a category B1 license holder will be able to issue certificate of release to service. Now here again, the term certificate of release to service comes. but in this uh, category, the person will be able to certify whole of the aircraft, means whole of the aircraft plus whole of the engine. Any defects or faults come in the aircraft or the uh, engine 
then that person category B1 license holder would be able to uh, clear the snag and certify that snag. Uh, normally this B1 license holder uh, 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 can do evidence related task also but that evidence related task or defects have to be simple task no troubleshooting have to be there means a cat, cat B1 license holder uh, can clear a snag related to the electrical system or evidence system but that uh, task have to be simple task means uh, by doing some test or normally circuit breaker reset uh, he should be able to clear the snag but that clearing of snag shouldn't involve any troubleshooting for troubleshooting we have to then uh, call for an uh, full scope Evinix engineer that is B2 license holder um, so the next category that comes here is a uh, category B2 category B2 license holders are full scope Evinix license holders they can perform all the Avionix related task in an aircraft they can perform the task and they can certify it to be fit uh, the um, the B2 license holder can also uh, do some uh, mechanical related task and uh, certify the task but that task again have to be simple task that should not involve any uh, troubleshooting here the two things uh, that I have mentioned the B1 license holder can certify simple task of Avidix related systems but that should not involve troubleshooting whereas B2 license holder can certify simple mechanical task but that shouldn't involve troubleshooting so if a B2 license holder uh, get uh, involved in some uh, defects which require uh, troubleshooting mechanical defects which require troubleshooting then he have to call for an B1 license holder engineer so now the next category of license uh, that I'm going to discuss is category B3 now the B3 license uh, um, license engineer will be able to issue CRS certificate of release to service after doing any maintenance task on an aircraft uh, all any mechanical task or any avionics related task but on which aircraft in B3 task it is specifically specifically mentioned um, the uh, uh, the person will be able to certify the aircraft it should be a piston engine non pressurized aircraft which maximum takeoff weight should be 2000 kg and less I will repeat it again it should be a piston engine non-pressurized aircraft piston engine aircraft non-pressurized aircraft which maximum takeoff weight uh, should be 2000 kg and less for example uh, example of an aircraft is Cessna uh, this normally this type of aircrafts are normally found in flying institute now the next category of uh, license that comes is category C category C license holders are normally uh, found in base maintenance department the CAT C license holder will be able to uh, issue CRS on the type of the aircraft uh, um, specifically endorsed in his license uh, he will be able to uh, certify the whole of the aircraft including a mechanical and avionic system also now what are the experience basic experience that is required to obtain the license uh, for category a category b 1.2 and category b 1.4 that is uh, category b 1.2 is uh, aeroplanes fitted with piston engine 1.4 is aeroplanes fitted with uh, sorry helicopter fitted with piston engine so in this for this three category uh, minimum three years of uh, three years of practical experience is required for category B2 B1.1 and B1.3 for these three categories uh, a minimum of five years of practi air practical aircraft maintenance experience is required to obtain the license now for a category C license holder 
uh, if he needs to get a license with uh, for its respect to heavy aircraft then then person have to exercise certification privileges on uh, means if he is uh, exercising certification privileges on category b2 b1.1 and b1.3 um, for three years means if a li if a person is holding category b2 license or category b1.1 license or category b1.3 license for three years and uh, means if he is exercising his privilege certification privileges means for three years he is uh, certifying an aircraft he is having a practical aircraft maintenance experience then that person will be able to apply for a category c license but if a person is holding b1.2 license and b1.4 license then he have to have five years of um, certification uh, he have to uh, have five years of practical aircraft maintenance experience means that person have to uh, exercise the privileges given in his license for minimum five years also if a person need to uh, have a category c license for uh, small aircraft means non-large aircraft previously i have told you uh, category C holder with respect to large aircraft for the experience that is required now I'm go going to tell you if a person uh, want to have a category C license for small aircraft then he need to have category B1 or B2 license for three years means he should exercise the privileges given in his license for three years then he will be able to apply for CAT C license uh, so these are the experience required uh, for all the types of licenses but the main one important point here is that in all the experiences that I have told you when uh, one person uh, goes for applying for any type of license one year of his experience should be recent experience like today uh, if he is going to uh, apply for a license so in last one year he have to uh, have practical aircraft maintenance experience it's not like he have worked uh, three years back on some aircraft and now he is applying for the license no that will not be he should have the experience recent aircraft maintenance experience then only he will be able to uh, get a uh, license valid license also the validity of these licenses uh, tends to be five years uh, again after five years we have to renew the license now I will, I'm going to tell you what are the different types of modules that you have to clear for getting different types of licenses. So uh, I have noted down the different types of modules uh, that one needs to clear for um, applying um, before applying for the particular license. So for category A1 and B1.1, the modules that a person need to clear are module 3, 4, 5, 6, 7A, 8, 9A, 10, 11A, 15 and 17A. Total 11 modules. For category A2 and B1.2, it is uh, module 3, 4, 5, 6, 7A, 8, 9A, 10, 11B, 16 and 17A. Here also again total 11 modules. For category A3 and B1.3, the modules that one needs to clear are module 3, 4, 5, 6, 7A, 8, 9A, 10, 12 and 15. Here total modules is 10. For license category A4 and B1.4, the modules that need to be cleared are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7A, 8, 9 10 12 and 16 here again total 10 modules for category b2 license one need to clear the following uh, modules the modules are 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 13 and 14 here again it is total 10 modules for category b3 license the modules that need to be cleared are 3 4 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन बी एट नाइन बी टेन इलेवेन सी सिक्सटीन एंड सेवेंटीन बी हेयर अगेन इट इज टोटल इलेवेन मॉडल्स सो बिफोर एप्लाइंग फॉर एयरक्राफ्ट मेन्टेनेंस इंजीनियर लाइसेंस टू डी जी सी ए दिस मॉड्यूल्स हैव टू बी क्लियर सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लाइसेंसेस एम एयरक्राफ्ट मेन्टेनेंस इंजीनियर लाइसेंसेस आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड अ लिटिल बिट इफ नॉट ऑल अबाउट द टॉपिक इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस वीडियो you can ask me uh, in my comment section also you can follow me on my instagram id which is now displaying uh, in your uh, in the screen you can uh, message me on, on my instagram id also otherwise you can uh, ask all the questions all the doubts that you have uh, in the comment section also or otherwise you can uh, message me through facebook messenger also um, if you like the video please like it share it with your friends and also please subscribe to my channel and uh, please motivate me in making more such informative videos for you and till my next video comes to you keep smiling and keep helping thank you